This is Farnsworth and the Fox with your hosts, Farnsworth. Lay down some cover fire! And Brianna Lane is the Farnsworth and the Fox Big Movie Show. Welcome to Farnsworth and the Fox Big Movie Show. Today, we have an exclusive interview with Rain Wilson from The Office about his new film, The Rocker. And we have a review of what happens in Vegas starring Ashton Kutcher, plus a sneak peek at Will Smith and Hancock. So let's get started with our first big movie show, First Look. First look, first look, first look. First look. That's my line! What? You said the whole thing. So let's get started with our first big movie show, First Look. That's my line. What are you talking about? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. We share the introduction, just like we share the title of this show. But you said the whole line. I'm sorry, Farnsworth. I think you're being a little childish. I am not being childish. We have a deal. Must I pull out my contract? I swear, every time I work with you puppets, you know, something... What do you mean, you puppets? Wow, you know, I'm starting to get angry, and let me tell you something. You won't like me if I get angry. Oh, I get it. What, are you going to turn all green and morph into the, the... The Incredible Hulk, yes. How convenient, since that's the trailer we are about to show on our big movie show, First Look. You just did it again! What? <laughs> told you not to make me angry. <laughs> Rocker starring Rain Wilson. Farnsworth, why are you naked? Charlie, can we get Farnsworth a robe or something to wear? This is disgusting. You'll find out why I'm naked in a minute during my exclusive, in-depth interview with the star of The Rocker, the Rain Man himself. And I don't mean Dustin Hoffman. You, Farnsworth? Yes, me and my first celebrity interview. Score, old naked guy one, the fox, zero. Now let's review the movie. I like The Rocker a lot, and for a lot of reasons. I really like rock music, and I like 80s big hair bands. I also really like my new best friend, Rain Wilson. In fact, he was so convincing as a rock drummer that I decided to ask him about it. Check it out. Are you a musician in real life? I see you have your guitar there. No, I just look good with a guitar. Check this out, Farnsworth. That is sweet. I play a mean air guitar myself. Do you? Yeah. I was doing it with tongue. Can you do it with tongue? No, not really. Yeah, why not? Don't have the luxury of a tongue that sticks out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Your loss. Hey, hey, playing fish, was that like a rock and roll fantasy or was that real life rain? Yeah, it's basically, you know, rock and roll fantasy come true uh, there, Farney, where I get to rock out, groupies, kiss oh. Christina Applegate. Oh. Man, she's hot. She's so hot, right? She is smoking. You like her? Oh, yeah. You want me to hook you guys up? Seriously. Oh, would you? Yeah. You know what, I'm gonna text her right now. All right, I'm telling her to stop by. Oh, oh. But you not having a tongue is gonna be a problem, I can tell you that right well, now. it's never been a problem before. Really? The women haven't complained? You know, there's things about us puppets. We are machine washable and uh, soft and cuddly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If something's not right, we could just change out a part, make it bigger, smaller, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know exactly what you mean. Now for the good part, the Naked Drummer. Bring on the nudity. Farnsworth, you should probably explain the Naked Drummer for our audience. They haven't seen the movie yet. Well, you see, Rain does some naked drumming in the movie, and this makes it to YouTube. And his new band takes off, which explains why I am reviewing this film naked. And I thought it was because you were insane. Well, Rain actually tells the story better. Hey, the whole naked thing, was that you or a body double? Uh, that was actually Brad Pitt. 
uh, doing uh, my naked drumming. Brad Pitt? Yeah, he actually did it. Wow. Yeah, we're good friends. We hang out a lot. So Naked or you just hang out? A naked Brad Pitt? Okay, now Farnsworth, you have my attention. Well, good. Then let's hear your review. Okay. This film is very funny, you know, and at the same time, it manages to be very sweet. Plus, I love Rain Wilson, so I'm giving it seven stogies. What did you think, Farnsworth? Well, I really like my new best friend, Rain Wilson, too. I really like his co-star and my new girlfriend, Christina Applegate. Props to you, Rain, for that one. So I'm giving this film eight stogies. Thank you, Rain. Really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time okay, today. Okay, right. Knuckles, right here. <laughs> nice. Thanks, man. All right. Okay. Welcome to Farnsworth. And the Fox Big Movie Show. Today we're talking about what happens in Vegas. It stays in Vegas. And it stays in my diary and on my camcorder and on the internet. Farnsworth. <laughs> here, take a look. Roll it, Charlie. Come on, baby. Fox cars are a boy's best friend. Yeah. 21, baby! Are you sure you're over 18? Ladies, please! I know I'm a puppet, but watch the hands, huh? No, I haven't seen the crying game. Why do you ask? Evening, officer. Ew, that is so disturbing. I'll say. The cop who took my picture should be arrested for impersonating a photographer. I look like Nick Nolte on a bad hair day. You haven't seen the crying game, Farnsworth? No. Why does everyone keep asking me that? Oh, no reason. Why don't we take a look at some clips from today's movie, What Happens in Vegas, starring Ashton Kutcher and Cameron Diaz. Why don't we? Tell that to us, Mark. Not if I don't kill you first. <laughs> We are not having sex ever. 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 Now, now, that felt like a real married couple. What Happens in Vegas is an energetic slapstick romantic comedy. Ashton and Cameron are great as the couple who initially can't stand each other, then fall in love. Well, I learned a lot from this film. Men are slobs. Women are uptight. Guys are afraid of commitment. And nothing gets in the way of true love. Stop me if you've seen this before. But Cameron does look good in her underwear, so I'm going to give it seven stogies. What Happens in Vegas, while not breaking any new ground, is an enjoyable date movie. Cameron and Ashton have a lot of fun as the bickering couple, and there are some genuinely funny moments, so I'm going to give it eight stogies. Well, that will do for this edition of Farnsworth and the Fox Big Movie Show. Don't forget, What Happens in Vegas... Ends up on my video blog! I don't want to know. Sure you do! Hey, Charlie, throw up my video blog, will ya? Sure, I'll go back to your place. Hey, why do you keep asking me if I've seen The Crying Game? Wow, I was not expecting that.